Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In this session, let us see how to find out the circumcenter of a triangle given the three sides of a triangle. We have been given equation of AB, equation of BC, equation of AC. We have to find out the point of intersection of perpendicular bisectors which is equal to the circumcenter of the triangle. Now, how to approach this particular problem? So, first step what we will do? We take the sides and we try to find out the coordinates of the vertices of the triangle that is vertices A, B and C. We find out these coordinates. After that, since we know that circumcenter is point of intersection of perpendicular bisector, we have to get the equations of two perpendicular bisectors. So, to get the equation of perpendicular bisector, so we have to know a point and the slope of the perpendicular bisector. The point through which the perpendicular bisector passes through is the midpoint of the side. If you know two vertices B and C, then the midpoint is one point on the perpendicular bisector and the slope of perpendicular bisector is perpendicular to the line BC. So, it will be negative reciprocal of the side. So, that logic we will re leverage and we will try to find out the point of intersection of perpendicular bisectors or coordinates of point P. So, first step how we solve this problem is we have to find out the coordinates of A, B and C. So, we will leverage our linear equation in two variables or simultaneous linear equations knowledge and try to find out the coordinates of A, B and C. Let us go ahead and do that. So, first let us take A, B and A, C and try to find out what is the value of coordinates of. So, first equation of A, B I will write down equation of a b equal to 5 x plus 3 y plus 1 equal to 0. Then equation of a c is equal to x plus 2 y minus 4 equal to 0. Now, we can solve by eliminating x variable or y variable. We will try to eliminate x variable. So, I will multiply the second equation by 5 times. So, my first equation will be as it is 5x plus 3y plus 1 equal to 0. Second equation, this one will multiply with 5. So, it will become 5x plus 10y minus 20 equal to 0. Can I try to subtract them? Then I will have 5x, 5x cancel. I have minus 7y plus 21 equal to 0 or can I write down minus 7y equal to minus 21 which gives me y equal to 3. Now, once I get y equal to 3, I can substitute in x plus 2y minus 4. From that, I get x plus 6 minus 4 equal to 0 or x equal to minus 2. So, the coordinates of the vertex A are given by minus 2 comma 3. So, let us write down A is minus 2 comma 3. Now, similarly, let us go and try to find out B now. Let us find out now coordinates of B. For that, I will write down again. A B is given by a B is given by 5 X plus 3 Y plus 1 equal to 0 and B C is given by 3 X minus Y equal to minus 5 equal to 0. 3 X minus Y minus 5 equal to 0. Now, when I try to solve this, I see solving with eliminating Y is easy. So, I will multiply the second equation with the 3. So, my equations will be now 5x plus 3y plus 1 equal to 0 and 9x minus 3y 
minus 15 equal to 0 when you try to add both of them now because plus and minus will cancel you get 14 x minus 14 equal to 0 or x equal to 1 once we got x equal to 1, we can go back and substitute in 3x minus y minus 5 equal to 0. That means 3 into 1 minus y minus 5 equal to 0. Or 3 minus 5 is minus 2. Minus y minus 2 equal to 0. Or can I write down y equal to minus 2. So we got the point as now 1 comma minus 2. So we can go back to b and write down x equal to 1 x equal to 1 y equal to minus 2 we can substitute that 3 plus 2 5 minus 5 is 0 5 minus 6 minus 1 plus 1 is 0 similarly let's find out the coordinates of c now now let's find out coordinates of c to find out the coordinates of c again we'll take equation of bc equation of BC is given by 3x minus y minus 5 equal to 0 and the equation of AC is given by x plus 2y minus 4 equal to 0 again I want to solve for y eliminate y so I'll multiply the first equation with 2 so that it will become minus 2y minus 2y plus 2y will become 0. So, can I write down now 6x minus 2y minus 10 equal to 0. I have x plus 2y minus 4 equal to 0. Now, I have to add them. Then I will have 7x minus 14 equal to 0 or x equal to 2. Once I got x equal to 2, I can go back and write down x plus 2y equal to 4 but we know 2 plus 2y equal to 4 so 2y equal to 2 that means y equal to 1 so the coordinates of c are 2 comma 1 let's go ahead and write down now coordinates of c are 2 comma 1 once we find out the coordinates of a b and c now we have to find out the coordinates of D and E. For that we will be using the midpoint formula. Now we have to find out the coordinates of D and E. For that we will take BC. We know B is 1 comma minus 2 and C is 2 comma 1. We have to find out the coordinates of D. The formula is x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2 where x1 y1 are 1 comma minus 2 x2 y2 are 2 comma 1 so the coordinates of d will be 1 plus 2 by 2 comma minus 2 plus 1 by 2 that's equal to 3 by 2 comma minus 1 by 2 so the coordinates of d are 3 by 2 comma minus 1 by 2 let's write down that similarly we can find out the coordinates of e as minus 2 plus 2 that is 0 0 by 2 is 0 3 plus 1 by 2 4 by 2 is 2 so can I say 0 comma 2 we can write down coordinates of e are 0 comma 2 now what we need to do is we need to find out the equation of PD or also we need to find out the equation of EP. Let us say this is DP. We need to find out the equation and we need to find out the equation of EP. We have to find out these two equations so that we can solve them. So for that what is our logic? We know point d which is equal to 3 by 2 comma minus 1 by 2 and the coordinates of e are 0 comma 2 now only the thing we have to find out the slope of dp for that we will write down slope of dp or can i say m m of dp 
equal to minus of 1 by m of m slope of bc because bc and dp are perpendicular lines their product will be minus 1 similarly can i say slope of pe equal to minus of 1 divided by slope of ac now let's find it out we know slope of dp equal to now minus of 1 by slope of bc slope of bc is minus a by b that is minus 3 by minus 1 that's equal to 3 so slope of dp is minus 1 by 3 and what is slope of pe slope of pe equal to minus of 1 divided by slope of ac slope of ac is minus 1 by 2 so that's equal to 2 so the slope of pe is 2 so can i go ahead and write down m of pe equal to 2 and we know m of pd is equal to minus 1 by 3 now since now we can apply point slope form let me write it down minus 1 divided by 3 now let's find out the equations of dp and de so that we can find out the point of intersection p so equation of dp is will leverage the point slope form because we know point d and we also know slope of dp can i write down the formula for that the formula is y minus y1 equal to y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1 this is the formula which we are going to leverage for both of dp and pe so first let's find out equation of dp for that i will write down y minus y1 that's equal to minus of minus 1 by 2 so can i say y plus 1 by 2 equal to slope is minus 1 by 3 into x minus x1 that's equal to x minus 3 by 2 so can i write it in the next step yes 2y plus 1 divided by 2 equal to minus 1 by 3 into 2x minus 3 divided by 2 2 2 i can cancel can i multiply with 3 to the numerator and write down 6y plus 3 equal to minus 2x plus 3 or can i simplify that and write down 2x plus 6y equal to 0 or can i say x plus 3y equal to 0 so we'll write down in another color equation of equation of dp is x plus 3y equal to 0 now let's find out the equation of pe again to find out the equation of pe we'll write down y minus y1 this time is 2 equal to m slope equal to 2 for pe into x minus x1 that's equal to 0 slope is 2 and the point is 0 comma 2 because the perpendicular bisector passes through the midpoint of the opposite side and it is at 90 degrees to the side so we know the slope now we know the point can i simplify that and write down y minus 2 equal to 2x or 2x minus y plus 2 equal to 0 now this is the second equation and the equation of pe so can i write down this is equation for pe so we'll write down equation of pe is given by 2x minus y plus 2 equal to 0 now these two equations we have to solve so that we can find out the point p now let's look at 
dp and pe dp equation is x plus 3y equal to 0 and pe equation is 2x minus y plus 2 equal to 0 now can i multiply the second equation with 3y so that y and y will cancel or i can put x equal to minus 3y anything is fine so let's go ahead and try to multiply the pe with 3 so that when i add y terms will cancel so my next step will be i'll write down x plus 3y equal to 0 multiply the second equation by 3 it will be 6x minus 3y equal to minus 6 or can i just add them and write down 7x equal to minus 6 or x equal to minus 6 by 7 since we know x equal to x plus 3y equal to 0 we have x plus 3y equal to 0 that means minus 6 by 7 equal to minus 3 times of y or y equal to 2 by 7 so can i go ahead and say now that the point of intersection of the perpendicular bisectors are the coordinates of p are minus 6 by 7 comma 2 divided by 7 minus 6 divided by 7 comma 2 divided by 7 that's the coordinates of point p that's how we can find out the coordinates of circumcenter we have been let's summarize this we'll close this now we have been given equations of sides a b a c b c we have to find out the coordinates of circumcenter p first we have found out the coordinates of the vertices by using simultaneous linear equations after that we know that circumcenter is point of intersection of perpendicular bisectors and the equation of perpendicular bisector is given by to know that equation we have to know the midpoint of the side and the slope of the perpendicular bisector is negative reciprocal because the product of their slopes is minus 1. So, once, so since once we got the two equations of perpendicular bisectors, we solved them and we found out the coordinates of circumcenter. So, that's one example which I thought of sharing with you, how to find out the coordinates of circumcenter. Thanks for your time and support. Bye for now.